My brothers and sisters in Islam, you don't understand how serious it is. I don't know if I can give this topic its rights. But however, if you don't understand the awe of this topic, then at least you will believe the creator of the man and the woman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us begin with a beautiful verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Isra A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim and I beg your attention for these verses are not just there like that they have deeper meaning than what you think in fact the more you read them the more you understand that there is deeper meaning in them Allah says وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَكَ الْكِبَرَ أَحَدُهُمَا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْ فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْ Allah says, And your Lord has strictly commanded you that you worship none other but Him. That you worship none other but Him. And to be absolutely good towards your parents. Ihsan. Ihsan means more than just good. It means to exert absolute goodness even at the times when you are struggling and don't feel like doing it. Continue. No matter how old they become in age, if you live and they live to the time when you see them grow old and frail, then never in all these years dare to even be bad to them as little as pronouncing a sound of oof towards them. Don't even say oof towards them. And do not talk to them harshly. Do not talk to them in a rough manner, in a harsh tone. Allah is not even saying the words. He's saying the tone, the tone, the sound of your voice. Don't even talk with a harsh tone, a rough tone. وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا But remember, always choose the most generous and beautiful words to say to them. And lower the wing of humility towards them out of mercy. Out of what? Mercy, mercy. Not respect, not kindness but mercy because the word Rahma has deeper meaning than kindness and respect. And say, O oh my Lord, give them mercy the same way they gave me mercy as they raised me from when I was a child. Such deep meanings in this verse, brothers and sisters. I don't know how, whether you understand them or not. Surah Luqman verse 14 Allah says and we commanded man the human being to be dutiful towards his parents 
his mother carried him agony and pain upon agony and pain and she went through labor and then breastfed him or her for two whole years behold thank me and thank your parents and to me you will return and if your parents strive in jihad jihadak, they strive with all their might to make you make partners with me disbelieve in me in ways which you have no knowledge of or which I have not commanded you to do so then do not obey your parents if they do that however still maintain your duty of kindness towards them live with them on good terms in this verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying something remarkable Allah says we command you to be good towards your parents and then he mentioned your mother she carried you agony upon agony this is in pregnancy uh, I challenge any man here or youngsters to get a soccer ball and just place it underneath your shirt and I want you to walk around just for one day and one night you're not allowed to take that soccer ball out have it sit stand you got to go to school you got to go to your work with the soccer ball in there and then when you go to sleep you have to still just a soccer ball I bet you can't even sleep the night I bet you can't even do what you want to it's going to be so difficult well, like just a soccer ball your mother carried you for nine whole months and you kept getting bigger and bigger it didn't get easier right the bigger you became the heavier you became and the more back pains and uh, kidney pains and then it comes with side effects cholesterol and diabetes and the body changes and then she's never the same as before it's all your fault and we forget this yet even upon that Allah gave her the strength and then she breastfed you for two whole years or so again pain and agony the Sahabas never asked the Prophet ﷺ, why rather they said Mal hikmah what is the wisdom behind it or the likes and that's why I tell the youngsters when you want to ask your parents a question never ask them by saying why did you do that why did you do this why didn't you don't say why why is actually a rude word but rather ask them father mother what's the lesson behind what you did what's the wisdom behind that how many young people hold their kindness from their parents how many young people when it comes to the parents mother gets up and says son take me to the doctors the son says mom it's the World Cup I need to watch Brazil and Argentina who's going to win come on mom how cruel are you this is the only my friends are watching and everybody's watching and now you want me to take mom just wait take a taxi the shaitan comes and says yes do that do that and he climbs on top of the youth's shoulders and dangles his feet saying woohoo look at what I'm doing I'm making this son or daughter denying themselves from Jannah and then the mother turns around and says may Allah guide you my son or daughter and the shaitan replies by saying damn she still makes dua for him or her now even in that case قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون والذين هم للزكاة فاعلون